so this video is about the question answer session a student a subscriber from india uh, rashmi asked that how and why a minus spherical lens can cause or can stimulate accommodation so let's find out a logical answer of this question so first of all we have some knowledge about the spherical lenses the you know that there are two types of the spherical lenses the first one is called the convex lens the convex spherical lens and the second one is called the concave or minus spherical lens so both of them have different properties both of them have different characteristics you know that the plus lens the convex lens always converts the light, the light rays right if i draw a spherical lens plus spherical lens right so the property of this spherical lens is converging right if the light rays penetrate through the lens they will converge at a specific point after reflection as you can see so this is called convergent lens or plus spherical lens right and another one is plus concave lens sorry the minus concave lens and this minus concave lens has obviously diverging properties right if the light rays penetrate through the lens after refraction they will diverge and these light rays the central light rays will pass straight ahead because these light rays are passing through the optical center right so these are characteristics these are properties of spherical lenses the spherical plus lens and the spherical minus lens so you know that a hyperopic patient is that which have deficient plus power in the eye if the crystalline lens has deficient power of the plus power if that cornea has least plus power then it means the eye has least or deficient plus power and that patient with the least or deficient plus power would be of hyperop right if i draw a hyperopic eye here this is a hyperopic eye suppose and the light rays will fall behind the retina here due to deficient plus power right and if i draw a myopic eye somehow a bigger eyeball then the light rays will fall in front of the retina because you can recall the last video in myopic eye the plus power is increased more than sufficient plus power this case would be of uncorrected myopia right so the plus power the deficient plus power in hyperopic eye and increased plus power in myopic eye right so you can see a hyperopic eye has a ability of accommodation he has crystalline lens and he can increase its plus power and when a deficient plus power will gain a extra plus power through the accommodation then you know that we have discussed that plus power has converging property right so these light rays are divergent when we put a plus lens or we can say when accommodation will exert accommodation will exert means when this lens will increase its power this lens will 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 be more globular then the power of the eye will be increased and when power will increase the light rays automatically will fall on the sensitive layer of the retina right so a uncorrected hyperop can accommodate can increase its power so he can hide his refractive error which is hyperopia but in the case of myopia this eye do not have ability of accommodation because the plus power is already in, already increased if the myopic eye is going to increase plus power then the light rays will more and more converged towards the retina towards the cornea toward the lens so the myopic eye do not have any ability of accommodation myopic eye cannot accommodate right but hyperopic eye can accommodate hyperopic eye can increase its plus power but myopic eye cannot increase its plus power because plus power is already increased in the myopic eye 
right and now these are basic concepts so now let's come to the answer of a question that why uh, that how a minus spherical lens can cause or stimulate accommodation suppose we have a emetropic eye so this is a emetropic eye and you know that in emetropic eye the light rays will always fall on the sensitive layer of the retina like the light rays are coming from infinity and focused on the sensitive layer of the retina and this eye is called normal one or emetropic right so if I introduced a minus spherical lens before the emetropic or normal eye we have discussed about the properties of the spherical lenses that the minus spherical lens has diverging property right so if we introduced a minus spherical lens a divergent spherical lens before a normal or emetropic eye then the status of the light rays the focusing status of the light rays will be changed so in emetropia the light rays will fall on the sensitive layer of the retina and when we introduced a minus lens before the normal eye then this status will be different so the light rays will come through this diverging lens and these light rays will show divergence right these light rays will fall behind the retina they will show divergence because we have we have introduced a divergent lens a minus spherical lens before the normal eye now our normal emetropic eye has become hyperopic because the light rays are behind the retina so in hyperopic definition the light rays will always fall behind the retina and if the light rays are behind the retina then this eye would be of hyperopic eye right so the eye was normal emetropic the light rays was the light rays uh, were falling on the sensitive layer of the retina and then we introduced a divergent or minus spherical lens before the normal eye then these light rays will show divergence and they will diverge behind the retina and now eye has become a hyperopic eye and now what will happen how accommodation will stimulate in this condition so you know that i think you have got the answer of this question we have the process of accommodation in crystalline lens and this lens will increase its power this crystalline lens will increase its power right because the light rays are behind the retina it means when the light rays are behind the retina it means our eye has deficient plus power right because we have introduced minus lens so the plus power of the eye would be decreased right so we have deficient plus power so we need to increase our plus power and you know the definition of the accommodation that the increase in the plus power of the crystalline lens is called accommodation so we have deficient power due to that deficient power light rays are behind the retina so to let these light rays come on the sensitive layer of the retina the lens need to accommodate so lens will accommodate and will increase its plus power it will become more globular the power would be increased and the light rays will fall on the sensitive sensitive layer of the retina so this is how a minus lens can stimulate accommodation it means when a normal person like i am 6 by 6 i am emetrope if i put a minus spherical lens before my eye then my eye will show divergence the light rays will show divergence and my light rays will go behind the retina and will my my this eye will get blurred by introducing the minus spherical lens before the eye so now by putting the minus spherical lens before my eye my light rays are behind the retina and my plus power of my eye is decreased so i have to accommodate to increase that plus power right to compensate that minus power of this minus lens so this is how we can stimulate accommodation by putting a minus spherical lens a diverging lens before a normal eye hope this is clear and if you have any query if you have any question regarding 
ocular anatomy ocular physiology dispensing optical lab ocular disease you can comment and i'll make a video